Hey friends, it's Jen at the Sunshine Farm. I am going to try painting some stones to act as garden markers. So I picked some stones that I could find from our garden that were a little smoother. This will be a really easy DIY tutorial for how to paint stones to act as garden markers. The great thing about this is you don't have to buy the stones. You can find them in your garden if you're lucky. It's a really, really, really low cost and fun way to bring some art into the garden as well as remind me where I've planted things, especially things that haven't come up yet and also a fun way to show people around the garden who may not know what certain plants look like and so they'll see maybe radishes are marked or beets or cauliflower and brussels sprouts and they'll know what kinds of plants those are i'm really looking forward to this and i'm excited to share this whole process with you You're going to need rocks. <laughs> You're going to need acrylic paints, and these are pretty inexpensive. You can even get them at the dollar store, I believe. I love to paint, so I already had these on hand, but just pick a handful of colors so that you can paint the types of colors you want for the vegetable markers that you're using. The other thing you're going to need is a couple paint brushes. You might want one that's a little thicker and then one that's a little thinner for detail. You will also need a Sharpie, kind of. You don't necessarily need this, but it is nice to outline. For example, I outlined the carrot and I outlined the top. I also wrote carrot. The Sharpie allowed me to write the text, but it also allowed me to outline the shape so it's easier to see. And there's just one more thing that you'll need, and that is some sort of coat to cover. And this is DuraClear. It's a polyurethane finish. So those are the only things you'll need. If you wanna make the process a little bit quicker, go ahead and grab a blow dryer too so that you can blow dry the paint coats and, and that will help expedite the process. The first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and wash your rocks really well. There's not a lot of times where you wash rocks, but this is definitely one of them. <laughs> you can't paint on dirty rocks and you can't paint on wet rocks. So once you wash them, use some soap water, get all of that dirt off. And you're gonna go ahead and let them dry really well. So I used a blow dryer and it, they dried super fast, so that made it a little bit easier. And once they're dry, you get the paints ready. So to start off, I did carrot, so I just put some orange paint down, I put some green paint for the carrot tops, and then I put some white paint so I can mix the orange and the white together and create different shades of orange. And then you need a little dish of water, some paper towels to be able to wipe your paint brushes off and dry them before adding more paint to the brush, and you're pretty much good to go. So then you can go ahead and start painting whatever you want. Maybe you want to sketch it out on some paper beforehand so you have an idea of design. I kind of like to just wing it. So I just went ahead and started painting. If you make a big mistake, go ahead, just grab a paper towel with some water and just wipe it off and it should wipe off pretty quickly as long as it's not dry yet. As you're applying coats, you can use a blow dryer to dry off the coat and add more layers on top so you create a nice thick paint coat on top of each layer so then you get the really bright color on top of the rock. That the rock took the paint much better than I expected and it's really clear. Like I can very obviously tell this is a carrot from far away which I was really excited about. Once you finish painting you can go ahead and add your text. Whether you want text or not is totally up to you. I just liked to write on the other side of the rock the word of the vegetable or fruit I was painting so I wrote carrots and then after that, I took the Sharpie and I made a little outline of the shape after the paint had dried, and that was pretty much the biggest step. So the next rock that I'm going to be painting is a potato, which I'm kind of like, how do I paint a potato on this rock? Hello. When a rock already looks like a potato, this should be interesting. What do you think, June? Hi. <laughs> Time to paint a potato. Mm -hmm. 
So I have painted five rocks. Now I'm going to go ahead and put a Duraco on top of them, which is essentially like a polyurethane type coat to protect them from the elements. And it will also keep the paint from leaching into the soil or anything like that. I have my five rocks done and guess what guys? That rocks. And I even have my very own pea rock. <laughs> Sorry for my jokes, they're not that humorous. I'm gonna go ahead and put that Dura coat on and let that dry and then I'll be able to put my rocks outside. Woohoo! Make sure it's all dry and then you can add your coat of protection, your polyurethane coat to the rock at that point. And so then I just take a paintbrush and I just paint the rock with the finish. Once you do that, you just gotta let the coat dry and I'm actually gonna go ahead and apply at least one more coat of polyurethane before I put these rocks outside. I think I'm gonna go with three coats just to make sure it's got a really nice seal because I would hate for rain and weather to wash away this rock art that I've worked so hard on. Have fun with it. You don't have to be an artist to be able to paint some rocks for your garden. Take it in whatever direction you want to. Inexpensive, it should last a while, and the great thing about these is that they're reusable. The rocks are not going to go anywhere. So you can move them year after year depending on how you rearrange your garden. Thank you guys for being here today. If you want to see more videos, garden related videos, farm related videos, definitely hit the subscribe button so you can follow along what we're doing here at the Sunshine Farm. We are so grateful to have all of you spending time with us today and we can't wait to share our next video with you guys. Bye friends.